Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will try to graph linear inequalities. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is the first example. We need to graph the inequality y is greater than or equal to negative 3x plus 2. So how are we going to graph this inequality in a Cartesian plane? First thing we need to do is that we need to ignore this inequality symbol and we need to convert this into equal sign. And it goes like this. y is equal to negative 3x plus 2. And remember that this form is the same as y is equal to mx plus b. So what we need to do for us to graph this inequality here is that we need to first find a point. Remember that b is the y-intercept and that b is this 2. So we need to graph this one, and your b is 2, and this y-intercept has the coordinates of 0 and 2. This will serve as the first point. Now let's plot 0 0.2 or 0, 2, and that is located here in the y-axis. This is your y-intercept or 0, 2. Next. For us to graph a line, we need at least two points. So how are we going to come up with the second point? We need to use the information m. This m is the slope and that is equal to the rise over the run. Here, your slope is negative 3. That is the same as negative 3 over 1. We need to express the slope in fractional form for us to get the second point and use the information or the concept behind the rise over run. So it will go like this. We have here negative 3 over 1. This is your rise and this is your run. Since the rise is equal to negative 3, from this point, we will go down 3 units because the value of rise is negative. So that is from this point, 1, 2, and 3. We will stop here. And as for the run, since the value of the run is positive, we will go to the right, 1 unit, and here. So this is now the second point. Again, how did we get the second point? We used the information about the rise over run. From this point, 1, 2, 3, we move three units downward because the value of the rise is negative three and since the run is positive one we will move up here one point and this is now the location of the second point now the question here is that is it a broken or a solid line you need to go back in the original inequality if the inequality is greater than or less than or equal, remember that your line is a solid line. If your inequality is greater than or less than, broken line. Since our inequality is greater than or equal, we will use a, bro a solid line. So I will try to use a different ink. So you can use a a ruler here for you to have a straighter line so I will use my hands manually to graph this but we're not yet done guys as you can see the graph now is divided or the Cartesian plane now is divided into two equal parts we have here the left part and the right part now we need to decide which part is the graph of the linear inequality okay we need to we need to a shade one side of this part Cartesian plane and for us to do that or for us to, to decide which part we need to have our test point okay we need to use a test point for our test point the easiest test point to evaluate is the origin the origin is here it is located on the left side of the graph now what will happen to the test point? If the test point will satisfy this inequality or this 
given in quality, automatic, the placement of the test point will be the shaded part of the creation plane. Example, let's copy the given inequality. Y is greater than or equal to negative 3x plus 2. Since our test point is the origin, the coordinates are 0, 0, meaning the value of x is 0, the value of y is 0. And we will substitute these values here in a given inequality. Your y is 0, copy your greater than or equal, then negative 3 times your x, which is 0, then plus 2. And then simplify, 0 is greater than negative 3 times 0, that is 0, plus 2, that is 2. Now let us check if this statement is true or false. We have here 0 is greater than or equal to 2. Is it true or a false statement? Definitely, this one is a false statement. So, how are we going to interpret this kind of statement since this one is a false? Remember that our test point is located here on the left side of the inequality, meaning this part of the graph is not the shaded part or the graph of this inequality. If this is not the graph of the inequality, meaning the right side must be shaded, must be the shaded part. So we will put here this one, shaded part. So what does it mean? It simply means that all the inequality or all the values that are located here and here are all the values or all the solutions of the given inequality. Now again, this shaded part and this part of the line are all the possible values that will satisfy the inequality. Now let's move on with our next example. Our next example, we are given this inequality, y is less than negative 3 over x, 3 over 2x plus 2. So how are we going to do this? Always remember that you can ignore first this inequality symbol. It will become y is equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 2. And then get the value of your slope and the y-intercept. Your y-intercept is 2. That would be 0, 2. And as for the slope, m, negative 3 over 2. Your rise is negative 3. Your run is 2. Let's go and plot the first point, which is the y-intercept. We have b, and that is located here. Now again, to get the second point, use the rise over run. Your rise is negative 3, that is from this point 1, 2, and 3. Now for the run, you have two units, 1 and 2. And this is now the second point. Again. From this point, 1, 2, and 3, going down, and going to the right because the run is positive, 1 and 2. And now, we will check if whether it is a broken line or a solid line. Since the inequality is less than, definitely the line must be a broken line. So we will graph the line. Okay, now we will decide whether we will use the left side or the, le the right side using our test point. As for the test point, as I have told you earlier, that it is pretty much easier to use the value of 0, 0 or the origin. Copy this one. Y is less than negative 3 over 2 and then x plus 2. And use the test point 0, 0, x and y. Then let's substitute the values of x and y. That will be 0 is less than negative 3 over 2 times your x, which is 0, then plus 2. Now, simplify the 0 less than. This will be 0, then plus 2. That is 2. Now let's check if this is a true or a false statement. 
0 is less than 2. Okay, definitely, this one is a true statement. Now, what does it mean? Since our origin is located here on the left side, and as you can see, this is a true statement, meaning the values here are the possible solutions of our given inequality. These are the solutions of the given problem in our inequality. But the values here are not included in the possible solutions. So that's it, guys. I hope you learned something from this video on how to graph linear inequalities. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the bell button for you to be updated on our latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!